This is an example of a, of a balloon that we pick up probably four or five a week out here on the ranch. Um, and uh, of course they're everywhere. This seems particularly bad here. Um, I think they get released in Tucson or Phoenix and the way the wind currents are up over these big mountains, they come over and then drop down here on the ranch. But like I said, four or five a week at least. They're very deadly to any kind of uh, animal, not just cattle. Um, They'd, they'd be bad for wildlife as well, but because it's shiny and noisy and everything else, a curious cow or a calf will eat it and then it will become lodged in their, uh, in their mouth or their throat or even make it to their intestines and, and still get lodged in there and, and kill them. Um, so people release these for birthdays, funerals, all kinds of parties without considering the consequences of their actions. So just a little note, to, if you have your party, shoot these down, puncture them, and dispose of them properly. Well, howdy folks, this is Travis, and uh, doing a circle out here, up a bull run, moving cattle off this pasture and moving somewhere else. And I just figured uh share with you some of the baloney that goes on from Tucson and people releasing the balloons and it'd be up to my second one now find it in the brush and uh, it's not good for national forest to have garbage laying around let alone the the critters and wildlife so I figured I'd show you the balloons that trash got picked up way up here Here we are, right down there, pick it up. It's the second balloon I picked up today on the circle. You can kind of see it over here. I know it's windy, probably can't hear me too well, but we're gonna ride up to it with the little belly here. And what's bad is you got all this string right here lined up with it. Birds get caught in it. And uh, about everything you can imagine. So we're just going ahead and take that down real quick. Step forward. Okay. And luckily I got a horse ain't scared of balloons, strings, and whatnot. Okay, there we go, we got it. String and all. I found some cattle in my circle. Got bait to a different direction, and I got some. There's one there. Let's see if there's any more. It's a little pocket. There's one hiding behind a bush or tree over there. Let's go ahead and pick these two up. Got a steer and looks like a heifer up here. Yeah, let's get these. Let's get these buggers.
You got probably about 600 yards to take them to the watering hole. That's where the roe deer is going to be. Try not to do any short circles. All right, so I picked up a bull along with these two here, and we're at the water tank. Doing too bad. And found two more on the circle. Head back to the water. Get the big toe. We're watching the road deer. All right, fun starts. So we've got here some wild turkeys and I'm not talking the kind to go in a, a big bottle with a whole bunch of alcohol. Talk about some wild turkeys. These look like hens. An interesting point of note here I'll show you is I bet you a whole bunch of you have never seen turkey poo poo or doo doo. 
but you're in luck because right here is what turkey poo looks like so that's an interesting fact for you folks out there and uh, you could see there's quite a few of them now they are wild we don't feed them but what the temp uh, normally do is just try to hunt for any drop grain from the horses and that's what they eat figured you'd like that <laughs> take care now mm -hmm.